Hey, this is Jotham. Today I'll be talking about my Mario Kart circuit. And so over the past week or so, I've been working on a yeah, Mario Kart circuit of my own design. Uh, I was looking into different sorts of uh, genres or settings or themes that might be appropriate. And actually one I think which the game, especially Mario Kart 8, would really benefit from is one set in a more traditional Japanese setting. And so that's the setting I chose. I wanted to base a little bit off Kyoto, Japan. Uh, and also I took inspiration from images from that city um, in designing this circuit. And so we'll start off just here uh, at the starting line. In the Mario Kart games, they always have these uh, big banners saying, you know, Mario Kart, this is the beginning, the, the starting line. And so I decided to put this uh, Shinto sort of uh, structure to signify the starting and finishing line. And you might be able to see just on the right that there's some cherry blossom leaves and on the left some buildings. Uh, I really wanted to take uh, inspiration from lots of different traditional Japanese ideas or uh, these sorts of different things. So there we are. So let's uh, continue on. So three, two, one, and we begin uh, just down a long straight and then into the special section. And so at the bottom of the screen, you might just be able to see this blue line or this blue um, yeah, so this line makes sense, right? And so what this is, is in Mario Kart 8, they added this new idea in which you can sort of go upside down or go like sideways or whatever when you're driving around the place. And it's this kind of weird futuristic kind of thing. Um, this section is one of those sections, as so you'll see, see as well. You'll also notice that there are some coins on the track and I put these in positions that are just outside of the optimal line because uh, in racing games there's always an optimal line for the player to take so this is the way and the position around the curves the player goes i place these just outside of the optimal line to make it more interesting because if the coins are in perfect positions uh, then it just benefits the best players whereas mario kart is quite often um quite a good equalizing game lots of different players can play it and so you can see here the first two coins on the right hand side of the screen are slightly out of the way and you'll see later on as well, just up the ridge, the, those two coins um, are quite hard to get to if you go for these first two coins. So let's carry on. We go up the side of a mountain, um, just along more towards the outside. I also added a uh, item box as well, just to entice some players to go around the outside. And we can see we're going back into it, um, down the mountain again, some more coins just outside of the optimal line and into the inside of a mountain, some kind of cave system. This is quite a tight turn uh, and is will probably be quite challenging, um, but as a reward of such a tight turn, you have a nice long section for you to use the boost you may have built up by drifting. And another bit of a tight little area here, just down the steps underneath the place where you've first been, where there's corners on either side and a bit wider, so lots of players can sort of get, get closer to each other. We have some items as well going into the next section of the level. And here we see there are two different paths. Uh, I'm only going to take you along one of them because it would take too much time to go through all of them. But here, yeah, you can see in the background as well, this ginormous pagoda. And this is drawing the player into uh, and exciting them into going into uh, this new area. And so we're just going to take the left-hand path uh, and we have this image of going down the steps um, and an item block and some coins to help the players. And here there'll be lots of chaos because the players will be crossing each other, chance for bumps or for some mischief before going their own separate ways. And now we go up, see the pagoda once again and some trees. And here we have two options. One has a super fast, so these are orange lines on the ground. They indicate a boost or a, a boost pad effectively. We're going to go up actually because there's another boost pad up here that might give us an extra advantage and as a reward I've given the player a coin and an item block as they head into the Janor's Pagoda. We have some more items as well and some nice blocky turns. Still quite wide giving the players some berth and room because this is the section where they'll all be joining back together and there'll probably be a lot of chaotic stuff going on. Some more coins and then into a flying section. This is added in Mario Kart 7, but it also features in Mario Kart 8, in which the players uh, have sort of paragliders or variations of. Uh, and so let's just see here. We've got some different uh, coin sections and you're rewarded by some 
item blocks before going into more um, yeah more coins and actually once again these are not in the center these are slightly suboptimal lines for the player to take um, which hopefully should make the, the race more interesting and so we're going to stop you here as well because on the left you can see a bit of a shortcut I don't take it um, but there's a bit of a shortcut if the player is really good they can get a bounce off these um, little jumping pad things on the just on the left on the right you can see these uh, boost pads as well and this takes a longer route round, but actually it means that you maintain speed all the way around and so you can see here as well what I mean so the player will then launch off into the next uh, boost area on the left and so here also there's an opportunity for a shortcut this is quite common in Mario Kart levels that towards the end of the level there's a way you can zip ahead by taking that the, the circuit itself has a suboptimal route around so rather than a straight line and this is a perfect position for players with a mushroom or some other kind of speedy uh, item to cut ahead of the opposition and also you can see on the right hand side some more of these boost pads going into the final boost section which will then launch into a jump and so there you are uh, that's a quick tour of my level uh, i hope you enjoyed it and yeah thank you very much for watching cheerio